Okay, guys, here we're looking at a 1953 3100 Chevy pickup. This thing has an inline six cylinder. And as you can see, this beautiful blue color on here. It's a resto mod. And whoever did it did an excellent job with this thing. You know, the color scheme with the blue and the blacks down there, the running boards. The hubcaps, everything is right with this thing. You got your wood on the side of the bed, on the back of the bed. Everything with this truck is beautiful. As I said, whoever did the rest, though, knew what they were doing. They did an excellent job. Right down to your pinstripe, we're going all the way around. Headliner in there, amazing. This bench is new. Is everything's new? So, looking at the dashboard, you ain't gonna find anything wrong with it. It's a resto mod. I mean, this thing is really nice. For all you who love these type of Chevy trucks. We're looking at the driver's side, and I believe, yeah, this is your single side mirror. Spare tire, rear tire. The wood grain on here is an excellent choice. This is nice. This is nice. Oh man, this is a real nice truck. As you look in here, there's a 90 on the speedometer, <laughs> but you have all your, for the 1953 instruments is right there. There's also stick shift, <laughs> you know. Yeah, it's also stick shift. As you look down there, you see your three pedals, you know, so even though there's an inline six cylinder, you can still have some fun with it. Out there on the, st the street or a lonesome road. And I always believe these trucks were always meant for dirt roads. <laughs> but uh, let's take a look at the information. As you guys can see, 53 Chevy pickup. Six owner. Four speed manual. Dark Mariner Blue. Hey. 9,191 miles on the rest though. You gentlemen, ladies, see the price. Sitting here at Gateway Classic Cars, Crete, Illinois. We're gonna move on to the next vehicle. And it's a nice one. Just as nice as this one. Okay guys, here we got a Chevy Suburban. This is an 85 Survivor. This thing is that clean, that clean, that immaculate. <laughs> and I mean, this thing is clean, clean. Oh, man. I mean, it's clean on the outside, clean on the inside. It's got dual exhaust. It's automatic, 4x4. Four four. It's a big Suburban. And, I mean, plenty of room, plenty of cargo space. There's nothing wrong. I walked all the way around this thing before I started making the video. I couldn't believe how clean this thing is, man. It's clean. Got your toe set up down there. I mean, you're going to look in through the back window because it's down. See all the space back there, man? This thing's big. I mean, it's, it's a real nice vehicle right here, man. Real nice. <laughs> I'm looking at it and I said, man, if you look in, headliner, all intact, ain't nothing. This thing has never really been driven, you know? If these people had it, they didn't do much with it. Whoever owned it. Yeah, and there's your other exhaust pipe. You know, dual exhaust, 
nice big vehicle. You know, so like I said, probably if a family had it and just used it when they needed or whoever the owner was, or it could have just been out there in commercial use if they ever chose to use it. Because as we looking in here on the passenger side, this thing is still brand new. So I don't know who had it, but as you look at dash, center console, this thing is still brand new. In a sense, it's 85 and it looks this good? Come on. I was down there at Country Classic Cars. There was some 80, I think a few 85s. And they look like, well, they look like the way they did. <laughs> you know, this thing has a real nice shine to it. And, I mean, it is what it is, ladies and gentlemen. This vehicle is really nice. Unless this is a Resto, a Resto mod. And I don't think it is, you know. I don't think it is. I think this is just one of these genuine type of Suburbans that no one really put much knowledge into or much harm driving and having thing, you know, year round. So it didn't see much damage. You know, I think this is just one of those that fell through the cracks of the wear and tear of daily life. This is a nice Suburban, man. We're gonna look at the information board. I said this thing was nice, you know, and it's a real nice Suburban, you know. And uh, we're gonna take a look at the information board and see what we come up with here. As I said, 1985 Chevy Suburban. It's got a 350 in it. Heavy duty, three speed automatic, that doe skin tan <laughs> or saddle tan interior. Okay, here we go. Let's get 62,560 undocumented miles. So it could have went over 100,000, but you guys see the price on it. And it's sitting here at Gateway Classic Cars. And I like it. The prices are negotiable here at Gateway. So just because you see that price don't mean that you could have to pay that much. You could do a trade-in. You can negotiate on the price. But if you like the Suburban, it is here. And this is a nice one, a real nice, clean one. I mean, I haven't seen one this clean in a while. Now, I was down there at Country Classic Cars, and I said I was going back to do some videos on those Suburbans there. But they're not as clean as this one, man. But we got another clean Chevy vehicle that we're going to take a look at right now. Okay, guys, look. <laughs> it's an 84 Chevy pick-em-up truck, a Silverado, already set up for all you Wild Bill, the Coyote, shoot him up, jump over a hill, go through a dirt road, drive it through the pasture, drive it through some water, drive it through the mud type of peoples. This thing is sitting here, and I mean... It's got all the goodies for you. Look at here. Got your spotlights on both sides of the truck, and this is just one of them. Look at it. Side pipes. You know. Got your sturdy rims. It's big, powerful tires on that, man. With sheer grip on them. Look here in the back. Look at that. Sheer grip. Now, if you go around the back, you see the mud flaps. Yeah, that's what you want. Them big mud flaps back there. And look at the bumper. It's already set up for the tow. This thing here is nice. <laughs> As we look in the bed, I was going to save this for last, but no, let's go ahead and look at it. That bed is nice. It's clean. It's got a few little scrapes and nicks, but it's better than most for this year. You got an additional sliding window back there for the cab. As we look into the passenger side, look at the bench. The bench is clean. Nice, soft, deep cloth material. Hey, you even got a CB in there. Look at that. Look at that. CB for you CB freaks. You know, 
CB for you CB freaks. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Dashboard is clean, man. Looking down there, that carpet is nice. And it's got floor mats. Center console down there. Headliner. Yeah, it's there. We got some uh, for the CB running through it. Oh, yeah. This is nice. Real nice. Huh. As we come out, we're going to look at the top of this thing. Look, you got your horns up there. Like I said, for all you Wild Bill Coyote type of guys, <laughs> you know, this thing is sitting here. You know, it's got all, all the fixtures. Even that, the rack for the deers. You know, or for the idiots that's walking down the street and just walk right in front of you and they don't care. Their bodies are made of steel. You can hit them. It ain't gonna matter. They'll get right up and walk away. Oh yeah. <laughs> but this is a nice pickup truck for those who are into all the extra added fixtures. I love these pipes, side pipes, man. This is real nice. And this color blue on this thing is real nice. You know, actually, if I was to buy a brand new truck, I wouldn't mind getting in this color. Let's take a good look at this back. Sturdy, sturdy bumper back there, a steel bumper, galvanized. Chevrolet. Yeah, they built this one, man. Shelby built a monster with a 350 in it. You know, this ain't nothing to laugh at, that's for sure. Driver's side is just as nice as the passenger side. <laughs> yeah. Chevy was building really good trucks, man. Chevy and Ford. Then Dodge came back with the Hemi. They put 318s in trucks, man. Just about almost. So all their trucks had 318s, 318s. And Chevy was really building nice trucks. And so it was for it, you know. Now it's kind of hard to say. But this Chevy here is well built. So we're going to take a good look at the informational board and see what it tells us. And it says 1984 Chevy pickup, 350 V8, dark blue with blue interior, 14,889 undocumented miles. You all see the price of this here Chevy. Eight, 1984 that survived the time. Oh yeah, and it's sitting here at Gateway Classic Cars in Crete, Illinois. I'll be sure to make sure you guys have a number and a contact for it, all right? Take care, guys, later.